Uh, welcome back. While we are at regulatory framework, we've completed the SCRA and the RBI. So what we're going to do now is look at regulatory framework and the role of SEBI. So we're going to consider the role of SEBI, uh, which was uh, which is basically an act, the SEBI Act of 1992 now anybody who's heard of SEBI knows that SEBI's main role and, and that is what is very clearly stated and mandated is to promote protect and regulate so SEBI is there to promote the securities market protect the interest of the investors and regulate again the security market so while we are at it and understanding the SEBI's uh, main role in, in the regulatory framework what we need to do is understand the regulatory framework of the exchanges so that's what we're going to look at right now and uh, the currency future segment should fulfill a lot of requirements at the exchange level so let me just write down the exchange level and let's take this exchange part very quickly and what we're saying is that a lot of requirements need to be fulfilled at the exchange level so let's just study the requirements quickly so one is that the trading will happen only online right so this is I'm quite sure you understand and the trading will happen only online trading online and there's a mandate by SEBI for the exchange that there should be a disaster recovery procedure so that's also a very important point that the exchanges have to maintain so that's one uh, another point perhaps is that we can have a look at is uh, the role of clearing and the clearing uh, settlement right so there has to be independent clearing corporation so let me just write down clearing corporation there has to be an independent clearing corporation which would which is again a mandate for every exchange to have right at the same time we are also looking at we are also looking at online surveillance capabilities that's another very important exchange requirement so we are looking at train trading online disaster recovery procedure there has to be an independent clearing corporation and there should be online surveillance uh, capabilities which should be there moreover if an exchange wants to start operations uh, if an exchange wants to start operation it needs to have a balance sheet net worth of 100 crores right so this is very very clearly stated 100 crores that's one and two it can start start with 50 members so you would also recall that at the exchange level a stock exchange need not get approval for a currency exchange necessarily right and in any case so very clearly because RBI and SEBI both are uh, regulating this the, the currency futures and the currency options market now it's very clearly stated that it's not necessary that the existing stock exchange which is let's say a, let's say a commodity exchange or a thing might be allowed to uh, become a currency exchange right so for currency exchange you need to have a balance sheet network 100 crores and you can start with 50 members in fact uh, United Stock Exchange as, as an example United Stock Exchange started after the regulations were passed. It's a new 
currency exchange uh, which started on September 20th of 2010 so 2010 September as an example it just started and it has fulfilled all these requirements to start the exchange so these are the basic regulatory frameworks that an exchange needs to have all right uh, let's let's go a little further and let's look at also the governing council so all currency exchanges uh, need to have a governing council and we'll just study that very quickly so let's look at the governing councils and there are certain rules and regulations that are stipulated for the governing councils as well one of them is that the governing council for let's say a stock exchange and a governing council for a currency exchange will be separate so for example this is true in the case of an existing exchange like the nse the national stock exchange so it says that the governing council for nse equity would be different from governing council for nse currency a very important demarcation that needs to be remember so the governing councils have to be different that's one let's have a look at another example where it says that <coughs> now when you looking at a governing council the trading and clearing members the trading and clearing members cannot be more than 25% of the gc members right so you cannot have all your traders and clearing members as a part of a governing council right so that's that's also a very important uh demarcation that we need to remember third is again i'll i'll draw further to this point only which is it says just in case for an existing exchange if the governing council has now been separated it says that 50% of the members cannot be common right so what this basically means is for example in the case of nse if the governing council has been separated and the currency governing council has been separated then it has to be less than 51% of the members have to be common right so you can't have the same governing council for equity and currency which we already discussed and not more than 50% people be allowed or less than 51% would be allowed as common members so this is a rule on the common members which follows again from the uh from the pre uh, previous existing nsc example that we shared another very important point and uh, finally we come to the fourth point is on the chairmanship now what this means is that it says that a trading member should not ideally be a chairman of a governing council and if a trading member is a chairman then he or she would not be allowed to trade so it says either uh i mean the option is that you don't either become a trader right so either you lose out on trading or you become a chair come a chairman so both cannot happen right so from a governing council view point these are the important points the governing council for equity and the currency segment should be different 50% of the members cannot be common trading and clearing members cannot be more than 25% of the governing council members and chairmanship if you are a trader you lose out on your trader uh, uh, you lose out on your trading or you lose out on your chairmanship so it's, it's a very clear four uh, rules and regulations which have been laid down for the governing council as well what we'll quickly wrap up 
and we'll and with this we'll wrap up the regulatory environment is also by looking at the regulatory environment for the members so let's quickly look at the regulatory environment for the members three environment for members right when you're looking at <coughs> the regulatory environment for members we're talking of either individuals or partnership firms or let's say corporate houses right so if you're an individual right you your minimum age has to be minimum age is 21 maximum age has to be 60 right you have to be an indian citizen you have to be at least a graduate graduate and you should have minimum experience as laid down from time to time right so these are four points that we need to consider similarly if you are a partnership firm then again minimum age of the partners minimum age of partners 21 maximum age has not been laid down it should be a registered partnership firm they should be partner should be at least graduate at least grads graduates and again minimum experience laid down as laid down right which also includes clearing of the nism exam in our case for for if you want to be become if you want to become a member for the currency uh, futures segment uh for the corporate houses again the age of the directors is been specified so age of directors minimum again is 21 uh it has to be registered in the companies act of 1956 right two directors should be should be graduates and again minimum experience as laid down from time to time right so we will not go any further into the regulatory environment uh overall uh, with the regulatory environment for members we come to the end of the regulatory chapter but i would still suggest that you at least once read the chapter uh, although we have covered all the major points of the chapter in 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 our video series but i would still suggest that you at least read it once right thanks a lot and uh, see you very soon take care